Well, good morning, you guys. Welcome back to another episode of Eek Acres. Kind of foggy out, as you can see behind me. Fog is lifting. It's about quarter to nine in the morning. And the fire is still out here smoking. Let me show you. Fire is still smoking from last night. We had a huge fire. And that's why the whole ring is full of ashes. Because I brought over two wheelbarrow loads of scrap lumber and pieces of wood from the pole barn and we burned it up last night to get rid of it because there was a huge pile of wood in there that we didn't need or want it was just scrap wood i uh went and got the trail um sd card out of the trail camera and i turned my computer on this morning and once you know it there's nothing on the card and i don't know how that is even possible because up this trail anything that goes up or down this trail it is uh captured on trail cam and here's my trail cam right here looking right up the trail so i'm gonna put the sd card back in here and before i turn that on i'm gonna go up the trail a little further so it don't get me on it a little bit of mud right here There's a little bit of a scuff mark right there, but I don't see anything, you guys. And um, you can see how close that trail cam is to the entrance of the trail. I mean, there's the, the camera, and right here on the other side of the pine trees is where we're sitting. So from here down, this is where I heard this thing running, and it was headed right for the backyard, right for the backyard. And I yelled at it, and it stopped. And it turned and it sounded like it went down over the bank, but I never heard it go down there. And there's a bunch of fallen trees down in there, a whole bunch of them, big ones that would have to jump over. It would have made all kinds of noise going down through there, you guys. It's it's deep with leaves and, and sticks and twigs and and branches. I mean, how did I not hear it go down there? This is a steep bank let me show you look at all these broken sticks look there's just broken sticks everywhere and this bank is really steep all the way down to the creek and i never even heard it disappear into the woods it made no sound once it left the trail even this way let me show you over here behind the trail camera look at this there's dry sticks laying everywhere. Look at all this. Just everywhere. There's no way something could have come and turned and went in a different direction without making a sound. Now let's go up the trail and take a look. <clears throat> See all the big fallen trees laying on the bank? It's just littered with fallen trees. It's kind of hard to see now that all the leaves are out and everything, but there's trees down everywhere. And that is the ash tree that died to the ash borer. And this bank is really, really steep, you guys. And this is where the trail turns. And there's where there's a, a new tree down right there. And we're going to continue this trail straight all the way up. And then it will go down and then it will hook into the other trail that's going to go around to our bridge. But where I'm standing is where the trail from the lean-to comes down and then loops around and then it goes straight down the hill. And something was running right at our backyard last night. And uh, once, it, once I scared it off, it didn't make a sound. I, I never heard it again. So I don't know, you guys. Let's go down here to the lean-to. See if we see anything. I don't see any tracks. I don't see any leaves like scuffed up into a mound. Like if something stopped and turned direction. You know how you would like push off and it would leave like a little ridge of leaves where you push off. I mean, that's just common sense stuff. 
and uh, I got to watch out for snakes, you guys, because man, we we got a lot of snakes on this property. We even had one in the garage the other day, right by the passenger van door. And Bridget was getting ready to get in the van because we were going to go to the store. And she's like, "There's a snake over here," so I had to get it out of the garage. It was just a large gardener snake. But there's the trail that goes down to the steps that goes down the bank to the backyard and this is getting overgrown because we haven't come up this trail in a long time so i got to get my weed whacker and my loppers and start clearing this but uh we haven't even been up here at this location to have a fire and you can see things are starting to grow around the fire pit and uh, we got to get up here and do some cleaning and uh start using this lean-to as well as my spot out back i've got some poles that i set aside to dry out that i'm going to be using for a tripod back there so what i would like to know you guys is that if you have something large and it did sound like it was on all four like a gallop like it was going from its hind legs to its front legs from its hind legs to its front legs but not deer i've seen deer and we've gotten them on the trail cam a whole bunch of deer it, it, the trail cam has even got bridget and i working on the trail uh when we were working in front of it and anything that goes in front of that camera it gets it but if something had a long stride it could be sounding like rear legs to front legs rear legs to front legs i mean i don't know all i know this is what i'm saying i don't know what it was but it was big it was running and it was heading right for where we were sitting. And I yelled at it three times and get it to stop because I didn't know what was coming into the backyard. And so uh, the thing that, that boggles my mind is how come we didn't hear it up to that point or after that point? It was like it was just running as fast as it could for like, I don't know, 30, 40 feet, but we didn't hear it before that. And we didn't hear it after that. How did it do that and not make a sound? Because I'm telling you guys right now, if I went off this trail and walked anywhere through these woods, you would hear me coming from a ways away and you would hear me for quite a while walking away, going in another direction because I would be snapping sticks. You'd hear me through the leaves. I mean, I'll show you. See the sound I make? You could hear me walking through here. We would have heard something coming through the woods before it got down to where it did. So, and then when it went over the bank, it's like, how did I not hear it crashing down through there in the dark? It's a tangled mess. I'm right next to this massive oak tree. Look at the size of this thing, you guys. This thing is freaking huge. Look at that. Just a massive tree. Look at the base of it. But anyway, look down there. How does something run down through there and not make a sound in the night, in the pitch black of night, without damn near killing itself? This bank is, I mean, it's steep. And we it rained all day yesterday. Um, today's Sunday. Yesterday it rained and we even had severe thunderstorms. We had a severe thunderstorm warning and it poured rain and it got a little bit of winds. A couple limbs came down. So everything in here is wet. See, as I step, I'm snapping twigs. And, it, and it's just, you would hear that on a quiet night, late at night, sitting around the fire. You'd hear something coming down through these woods and we didn't hear it until it was right down near the entrance here. <clears throat> and then it went that way. And way down there and i didn't hear anything running down through there because it goes down to the creek down to a, the lowest spot on the property and then it goes back uphill again and then it flattens out and then it goes up a very steep bank way over there we would have heard it crashing all down through there last night we didn't hear a thing as soon as it left the trail nothing just almost like it was lifted up or it disappeared it that's what i don't understand that, it, it, it doesn't matter to me what it was. How did it get here without making a sound until it was close to us? And how did it leave? That's what I would like to know. I'd really like to know how something that damn big, because this thing was big, how it did that, unless it went up a tree. That's, that's the only logical explanation I could have. Is it, But how could something that big go up a tree 
I know bears do that, but eventually they got to come back down. But, uh, I don't know, strangest, strangest thing. I will buy a couple more of these cameras because they are good cameras. Wild Game Innovations. But I'm going to, um, here, I'll show you. I'm going to turn it on. See how the, the screen lights up? Now it's recording. And it's right there. Right there. Aiming up the trail. Anything that comes down here, it captures it. But there's other trails on this property. There's trails way over on the other side. We got the trail that's going down to the bridge and then we're gonna continue it around. So I need a camera down on that end of the property. I need a camera way over at the other end of the property, way back behind the pole barn. But once I can uh, pick up a couple more cameras, like I said, I'm gonna label them uh, like trail cam one, trail cam two, etc. So that way, as I pull the SD card out and if I get something on it, I'll know which camera it was that uh, that got that footage. But whatever was running full bore down here, and it literally stopped right there, right on that, that bend, right there. And I didn't see anything through these, these uh, young pines right here, but it literally stopped right there. It was, it was ready to come right out into the yard big and running as fast as it could scared the living hell out of us so um let me go down here and see if there's any tracks in the two track driveway now we do have game trails all over this property that are traversed by deer probably coyote fox anything that would use a a game trail there's several different species of animal that uh use a, um, a game trail. Now people have been asking, do we have moose and elk and all that stuff? No, you guys, in Western New York, um, there is an occasional, and it's rare, but an occasional wild boar. But those damn things are so loud, so disruptive, um, and they can be extremely dangerous. I mean, they're very aggressive animals. You would not want to encounter a big wild boar in the woods while on a hike because those things can charge you. But see, see the puddles here? It poured rain all day yesterday, so everything is wet and there's no, not even a deer track. I mean, nothing, no hoofs, nothing. I've been uh, doing a lot of weed whacking on this property and mowing and cutting back and we have been doing more trimming and uh, I've just been waiting for a dry day so I can get up on this bank and clear this bank like I've been talking I want to do still got a lot to do but um, down here on this end of the property I often wonder what goes on back here at night and uh, down in here is where I want to set up another camera um, because there's a trail that comes from a thick forest on the other side of the road and then on this end of the road we got a big field over there with a thick forest and over there is over a hundred acres of land and there's no homes nobody lives over there it's just a hundred acres of just wild woods and the game trail uh, comes over in here it starts on the other side of the road comes across the road onto our property over here and uh, if I can see it from this end The game trail that comes through right about there and comes right through here right through here and it comes up into the entrance of our driveway and then it continues up in those woods and that's why I need to eventually get some more cameras because having just one this property is too big for just one camera I have to have several cameras set up but I don't know how my trail cam didn't get it. It doesn't surprise me because it always seems like it goes like that, doesn't it? It always is that way. Never fails. But, um, yeah. It's a big property, you guys. A very big property. And I'll show you. Look it up the road. There is no homes. 100 acres of woods, 
and it just goes and goes and goes. And anything could come from over there and come this way and come right down the driveway and be on this property. Or it could come through the woods up here because these woods go all the way up, way beyond the, the stand of these pine trees and then it ends up there on the corner. So I definitely got to get some more cameras set up because the only one I got is the one that I got on the trail right now for the moment. I have moved it around the property and the only place I got a hit and it was of a wild turkey is when I hit it over here by the wellhead and then I put it up on the trail and then I started getting a bunch of deer. You know, just common wildlife, which is to be expected. I mean, that's what cameras are, trail cams are for is to get wildlife. But rarely do you ever get anything on them that's other than wildlife. Whether it be an intruder or, I don't know, a cryptid, whatever. Um, I've never seen a cryptid, so I don't know. But damn, well, at least whatever it was, it was really large. It was good sized. It was big. It was nothing. Not. It's not a groundhog. It's not any of the animals that don't come out at night. Um, it was a big, big something. And it made a hell of a noise running towards the backyard. I yelled at it three times. It turned course and it disappeared. And it didn't make a sound leaving. Just, it went quiet. Once, once it turned, uh, it went quiet. So... How it took off into the woods without making a peep is beyond me. Unless it went up a tree and stayed up there for a while. I don't know because I didn't look up last night. I didn't even think to do that. But there's no uh, no tracks anywhere, which is actually a good thing. But I've been pulling brush here out of the, uh, the ditch. I got to haul this away. There's my poles drying out. And I've been filling in that bank right there that was like a swale. And I'm filling it in with uh, junk soil that's got like rocks and clay and stuff in it. And then this is going to get dumped over with a couple loads of uh, topsoil. And then it'll be feathered into the lawn and then reseeded. So everything's looking so much better. The grass is greening up. And yeah, I forgot my rake out here last night, damn it. It's going to rust leaving it out in the rain, but... I've been clearing this bank out, and then when we dry out, I'm going to go up in there and I'm going to start clearing out this willow. i got to get rid of all this willow. That stuff is going to grow this way, and it's invasive. So, <clears throat> But we got this bright spotlight on the back of the garage now that shines out here and illuminates this area, which is nice. Because there's the steps coming down from that I have to finish. I keep saying that, but I've got so much work, you guys. I can't, I can't get to everything at once. <clears throat> still got to get um potatoes planted busy busy so anyway you can see i mean there's this property goes beyond even what i showed you you guys so um as i can afford it i'm going to pick up a camera at a time and i'm going to just slowly keep adding to it and eventually this summer i should have quite a few of them because they're about 60 bucks a piece they're not super expensive and they're not real cheap but they're they're good cameras they work good the wild game innovation cameras i've had really good luck with those uh getting footage in the winter time i've left them out during the winter i've left them out in bad weather i've left them out in hot weather and this camera is still running on the original batteries that came with it because they do come with uh alkaline double a batteries and it's got energizers in it and it always turns on and it captures anything that goes in front of it so and i've got the footage to prove it so uh it works good in all weather conditions and all four seasons so uh, being that i've had good luck with that camera i'd like to get some more of the same ones and um you know dot them around on the property far apart and see if because that'll just up my chances of capturing whatever is traversing through these woods at night especially late at night like when something tried to come up this bank behind the fence i still would have liked to know what that was that to tell you the truth what came down this trail running sounded just as big as the same thing that was trying to climb up this bank when i was on the porch and i stood up and then it obviously saw me and it turned around and went back the other way that thing was crashing and making all kinds of noise so i'm thinking it might have been a juvenile bear um, a big bear would make a lot of noise running through the woods. So it wasn't, and sometimes they vocalize, would be like, rrr, rrr, as they're running away because they get scared. 
and uh, it, it was if it was a bear it was a smaller one but when I say small I'm talking like a couple hundred pounds it still could do some damage a large bear six seven hundred pounds for a black bear uh, full-grown adult I've seen them that big and I know they get that big in weight so uh, yeah look how steep it is down there you guys straight down I mean if you rolled down this hill, you'd be a bloody mess and all those prickers down there and that. And the creek is flowing and it drops down again to the creek and that's flowing down in there. So, I don't know. But once I get more cameras, um, I will up the chances. I still have the surveillance to put up. That's going to be on the house though, so that's going to be limited. That's just for whatever comes around the house itself. But the trail cams will be for the woods and beyond the house, further away. And... Um, dotted around the property so anyway it didn't get whatever came down the trail on the trail cam there it said um when i pulled up the file it just said empty so there's there's nothing on there it didn't it didn't capture anything so i have no idea you guys um unless it came out behind the camera and never was in front of it but the way that it was running it definitely went right past the camera it had to have but it was running so fast it, it didn't even it didn't even have time to trip it, so I don't know. Either that or it's smarter than me. But anyway, there's the update, you guys. Um, if anything more happens, I'll definitely let you guys know. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.